Hi, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Camille. And we're from SixSisterStuff.com. Today we are making one of our family's very favorite recipes, our mom's famous chocolate marshmallow brownies. I love that you said famous, because that's really kind of what she's famous for like throughout our neighborhood. And now on the blog, yes. um, it's definitely one of our most popular recipes. And it's also in our cookbook, so you know it's going to be good. But it's so easy to make. And as with all our recipes, we're all about easy, easy and fast and simple. So to start out, um, you need one cup of butter or margarine, whatever you have on hand, and just needs to be softened. And then dump in two cups of sugar. That much sugar, you know that these are gonna be good. So you wanna just cream together your butter and your sugar until it kind of starts to get all incorporated. And then you can add in your cocoa and start to make it the yummy chocolate goodness that it is. So we'll get this all mixed in. And you can smell it. It smells so good. People from all over our neighborhood will try and bribe our mom to make <laughs> these to make these brownies for them. They are it's definitely a big birthday request. Like every when it's year. people's birthday. <laughs> well, and growing up too. We didn't get to eat these very much. Whenever mom made them, they were for somebody else, for someone's birthday or just to take them over to a friend. And it was always for somebody else. So, so it was a special treat yeah. when we got them. Okay, so once you get it all mixed in and your butter and sugar and cocoa are all together, you add in four eggs. And then you want to make sure that these are very mixed. <laughs> mixed. And you can do this with an electric mixer too, but... Um, or just simplicity with using your hand. You definitely want the eggs to be all mixed so nobody gets a big bite of scrambled eggs. Uh, yolk. <laughs> okay, and then one and a half cups flour. Do it slow? Nope, just dump it in. All right. <laughs> I like it. And then just a teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of vanilla. We get a lot of questions from people saying there's no baking powder, there's no baking soda. Nope, you don't need it. This also makes a huge pan, um, so it's perfect for potlucks, for parties, or like our mom, for taking it to lots of different people. So then once you get the batter all mixed in, you want to spray your baking sheet. Um, it's just a big cookie sheet, a 10 by 15 by 1 inch. And I just spray it with um, Pam, with nonstick cooking spray, but you could also grease it with shortening and then flour it also, whatever you want to do. Okay, so once your batter is ready, I'm just gonna dump it in. And then this is the part that I loved growing up. My mom would hand us the bowl. <laughs> Raw eggs and all. And all. And I survived, and you so. Know what? Tastes better that way. <laughs> okay, you'll spread this out, and then you're gonna throw it in the oven, 350 degrees for 22 to 25 minutes. Just kind of watch it and see when it's done. And then, here's the magic, you want one bag of miniature marshmallows, I think it's a 10 ounce bag, when you pull the brownies out of the oven, you dump the marshmallows on top, and then throw it back in the oven for only two and a half to three minutes. You have to watch it, or the marshmallows will start to melt Bubble and get over. gross. So two and a half to three minutes at 350 degrees. After that, you're done. And you're ready for the frosting. Now this is our favorite frosting. Um, it's just our mom's chocolate, I don't even know, buttermilk. It's got buttermilk, uh, cocoa, and powdered sugar in it, and a little Margarine. bit of vanilla. Margarine or butter. Or butter. Depends whatever you, I use both. Just whatever's in my fridge yep. <laughs> to make it easy. And then just spread it all around. Here I can take this. This is the other best part. Spreading part, right. I'd rather like a frosting bowl than a batter bowl, I think. <laughs> And you just want to make sure you get it all the way to the edges. Some people like the, the edges. Thankfully, these ones don't have too crusty of edges like some brownies. But I love these because you can see like the lumps from the marshmallows underneath. It's just such gooey, you know they're gonna be good. Gooey <laughs> and delicious. Yep. And just like that, you're ready to go. Um, when we make these with our family, now that we're older and we make them for ourselves. 
We don't even cut them in squares. We just pick at it out of the pan. So yep. <laughs> very rarely do we cut our own, but we'll just cut one to show you what it looks like. You can see the sticky marshmallows. And just like that. And there you go. Perfect. So for tons more brownie recipes and dessert recipes, be sure to check out our website, SixSisterStuff.com, and our cookbook, Six Sister Stuff. Thanks for joining.